Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and Happy New Year. I'm going to do a little uh, headlight conversion today. I have a headlight conversion kit that I received from Headlight Revolution. And it's going to be a two-parter. We're going to do the uh, headlights, and then we're going to do the fog lights as well. So what I have here is the Supernova V4. Then again, this is an LED conversion kit for headlights and fog lights. And the part number on here is an H11 slash H9. So we're going to pop the hood and we're going to get these installed. And then part two of this video uh, is going to be installing the fog lights. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first things first, we've got the... Uh existing bulbs right down here so I'm going to try to point you guys down here so you can see that let's see be right down here so I believe and I've never done this before so be interesting let's go ahead and twist this let's try counterclockwise see what happens oh wow simple very, very simple. Uh, it turns out of there pretty darn easily. Um, again, just uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to put it back in just to test it one more time because that was very, very simple. Yeah, counterclockwise pulls right out. There's just a little push pen kind of thing right here. You should be able to, I believe, just push that down and pull this light out. So let's go ahead and do that. just like that pops right out so this is the existing uh, incandescent bulb I guess so we're gonna we'll just lay that aside here for now and then keep track of our wiring harness here so we'll just kind of lay that back down here for a second let's go over uh, grab the kit here go ahead and open this up comes with a little pamphlet in here for a little bit of instruction and what we have inside the kit you guys can see here are the two bulbs and then also the wiring harness um, kit as well so we'll go ahead and pull this out go ahead and set this aside and what we want is the bulb and here is what the bulb looks like. You guys can see that. We'll set the rest aside here so that we don't uh, have that in the way. Now what I'm going to do is kind of start this at a 10 o'clock position and then rotate it clockwise to a 12 o'clock position. You guys can see uh, the LED elements inside the uh, light here. Let's go ahead and uh, See if we can't accomplish that. It's kind of neat. I didn't realize before, but these do have a cooling fan inside um, to keep the bulbs cool, obviously. So let's go ahead and uh, insert that in, just like so. You should be able to feel it snap in a little bit, and then uh, it'll be tight, and you won't be able to pull it back out. Just like so. That should be perfectly fine. All right, the next piece or part that we're going to do here is installing the driver, uh, this unit, uh, to the light bulb itself or the wiring harness for the uh, the bulb, and then we're going to secure this to the uh, the side of the truck. Now the instructions say that you should use zip ties uh, to zip tie this somewhere, but Instead of doing that, I'm going to use just a uh, double-sided mounting tape. In this case, I've chosen Gorilla Tape, but I'm going to use just a double-sided mounting tape, and I'm actually going to affix it uh, right here. You guys can see right here on the edge. So it's nice and accessible and still out of the way. So that's how we're going to do the next step. So let's go ahead and uh, secure the driver. 
to the bulb. And then it has this, uh, you guys can see right here, it has this little sleeve that screws down over the connection to uh, obviously keep it together and maybe give it a little bit of water protection. So let's go ahead and tighten that down. that good and tight and then the next step as I said I'm going to uh, go ahead and affix this to the side of the truck so I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit right here with uh, a little bit of cleaner so that I make sure I get uh, good adhesion with the tape also the back of the uh, driver itself so we're gonna do that next <clears throat> then we'll plug it in and give it a test all right we've got our double-sided tape back here on the uh, driver going to go ahead and stick that to the side wall right here as I mentioned right there put some good pressure on that to hold it down and that should uh, should stick no problem. If you're concerned about it sticking you could go ahead and put a couple of zip ties around the wiring or something just to make sure that it doesn't come loose or just take a look at it occasionally uh, to make sure that it's still there good that is really on there so I'm not too concerned so that's the first side and the good thing about doing it this way if I need to change this for some reason I don't know down the road um, I can just unscrew it right here at the connection, pull this bulb out, put a new one in, tighten it back up, and the uh, driver is still securely uh, fastened right here. So let's go over and tackle the other side. I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not, but uh, right there, actually right there, got a little friend down there uh, that decided to crawl in the truck probably for a little bit of warmth. Okay, this side's going to be a little uh, tighter to get to. The uh, bulb is actually right down here in between the uh, uh, windshield wiper fluid and the front of the truck or the housing where the light bulb fits in right here. So, I'm not going to be able to show you too much of how to get that out, but it's the same way. Just uh, turn this counterclockwise here. Uh, remove it, put the new bulb in, and then secure the driver uh, inside the well here as, as well, which is what I'll do next. Okay, I did uh, end up uh, moving the reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid out of the way a little bit. It's just two 10 mill millimeter screws here, or one here rather, and one here, and just push it back a little bit. That'll give you the clearance you need to get the ball belt out and the new one back in underneath so we have that done so now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and put the other one in the same way that I did the uh, driver's side okay first things first here we've got the uh, lights and everything assembled up here thought it might be a little bit easier to put it all together this time as opposed to do it doing it when it's inside the truck. In other words, we'll mount the bulbs first and then we'll make the connection. So we're going to start on the passenger side. Um, and what I had done, I had gone ahead and, and reconnected the windshield wiper reservoir. And it's actually in the way now. So we're going to loosen that again and so that we have better access because you can see right down here right over here right behind here actually is where the uh, bulb is for the headlights so we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up again and again that's just these two bolts we'll take those out push this back a little bit just to gain more access to be able to get that bulb in and out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that We've got some things out of the way here now I did have to disconnect the low beam uh, light that I put in just to get the cord out of the way because I put it right over the top of this bulb so we should just be able to go ahead and twist that out let's go ahead and see here and 
Yeah, there you go. So now we have the bulb exposed here. So that's cool. <coughs> you go ahead and unplug this bulb. There, we have separation, you guys can see. <clears throat> so now we need the new bulb, and I think I'll just go ahead and put that one in before uh, connecting it up to the harness. All right, we've got that seated in there. Now we just need to make our connection and then decide where I'm going to put the uh, driver. So let's go ahead and get the connection. So let's go ahead and connect it up. You guys might have heard the click there. Okay, we've got the passenger side in and as I said, this is the more difficult side. There's little room to work here. But the bulb is in and now we just need to figure out how we're going to secure the uh, driver. And I think I'll probably put it right here on this wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get me some double-sided tape, clean that up a little bit, and uh, affix that there, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I've done here. This is the driver for the, the new high beam bulb, the LED bulb, which is right back here. So the wire runs over here to the driver and then down here to the... Uh, OEM connection right down here and that should secure it pretty good again I just used a double-sided tape you could wire tie it if you wanted to or zip tie it somewhere but I think uh, the double-sided tape will work quite well the other one of course again was right over here and it isn't gonna go anywhere either and then the wiring is uh, right tucked in underneath here so I think a pretty decent install myself uh, of course, uh, I did it. So let's go over and do the, uh, the driver's side. All right, we're going to go ahead and do the driver's side now. As I said, this is much easier. As you guys can see here, there's a lot more room and space here. And the bulb is right there. So I don't have that uh, water jug over there to contend with. I did go ahead and put that back in, by the way, for those of you wondering. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull this bulb out and then put our new... Uh, Supernova V.4 bulb in there and uh, and then we'll give it a test and I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, in the daylight. So let me go ahead and set you guys down so you can see there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that bulb out. Try to stay out of your way so you guys can see. It just turns up, up towards the sky, and then pulls right out. You can see there, very simple. Go ahead and push this little tab here to pull the bulb out. Just like that, very easy. I'm gonna stow that. We're gonna go ahead and grab our complete harness with bulb. Go ahead and get this in. Just a little tip for you, a couple of times what I've done here. There is a larger tab here, of course, that corresponds with the larger tab in the uh, housing. I went ahead and marked this on this, just on this plastic with a black marker so that I would know where that tab is when I'm going up against the one that's in the housing. Just like that. So, First I need to figure out where the large one is in the housing. And it is actually on the left. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is on the left side over here. Which corresponds quite nicely with the uh, way it is right now on the bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and see about getting that in. Wow, you want to talk about lucky. I actually hit right in the right spot just inserting the bulb in, so I didn't even have to finagle with it. it uh, it's in right now. 
So, let me go ahead and plug the housing in, or the uh, harness rather. Come over here to the other side, and let's see. First, I got to figure out where it went. I have mine, and then I need the OEM, which is sitting down here somewhere. Ah, oh, right in front of me. Right here, actually. So let's go ahead and plug that in. There you go. You might have heard the click. Uh, the last thing that I have to do is secure the driver and the wiring down here. I'm uh, not going to leave it just float around down here. On the other side, I did double side tape it to uh, a piece of steel in there. And I think I'm going to do the same thing over here, uh, maybe up in here, or maybe even down flat on the bottom if there's enough room in the wiring to do that, or possibly over here on the side right below the other one for the low beams. So I'm going to do that. I'll show you the finished install and then the uh, the highlights during the day. And then, like I said, I will show you a uh, night shot of the low beams i'm not going to blind you with the high beams at night but you should be able to get a pretty good uh pretty good view of what they look like during the day so let me go ahead and button this up and then uh we'll finish here's the finished uh install down here you can see the driver right here is affixed to the uh actually the kind of the column where the battery sits up above wiring is nice and secure out of the way i'm gonna go ahead real quick and uh turn the high beams on for you and let you guys see what this looks like in the rain okay I'm gonna show you guys uh, that's just the low beams right now you guys can see what that looks like and now I'm gonna go turn on the high beams and then we'll get a little closer shot There you go, there you can see what the high beams look like. Like I said, at night, that would be blinding for me to stand in front of it and show you, so I thought it might be better to show you in the daylight. Uh, we will get some shots down the road, of course, um, in driving, but look at the nice, clean, white light. Love that, no more of that amber-colored light. All right, we are finished with the LED conversion of the headlights on my Toyota Tacoma. There will be a uh, before and after uh, tonight. Uh, it's a little bit light outside right now, but it is a much cleaner, whiter light, of course. I can't wait to get out and drive it on the road. Um, but, pretty simple mod. Again, it was the Supernova V4, um, and it's the H11 slash H9 conversion kit. Really not difficult to do at all. Um, without filming and just going straight through it, probably take me about uh, 10, 15 minutes, maybe. I will say, moving the uh, reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid makes things a lot easier on the passenger side. I would definitely recommend doing that. It's two simple bolts. You just push it out of the way a little bit. It gives you a lot more clearance. Um, I like it. I think it's an excellent mod. I will leave a, a link down below. Uh, to Headlight Revolution. You guys can pick these up over there. want to thank them again for sending me these, uh, these LED lights. I love them. Part two of, uh, of this install is going to be the fog lights. We'll get to that next. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.